Well, Sir Stuart Etherington chaired the review and joins us now. Very good morning to you. Good morning. Um, people have been really shocked by that sort of undercover filming, the pressure that has been put on certain types of people to give money, the sort of cold calling that's going on, the sharing of information. What are you going to recommend, sort of your main headlined recommendation that's going to clean this all up? Well, it's a very complicated regulatory structure for charities. And what we've, uh, what we've said is two things, really. One is we want a stronger regulator with more powers uh, that can actually clamp down if things go wrong. Okay. And the second is we want something called the fundraising preference service, so that if individuals who are vulnerable or their relatives want to stop charities actually mailing them or calling them, they can do so by registering their name. Mm. That would be a very simple system, which I think some people found difficult in the past. Yeah, something which they thought they'd done by signing up to the telephone preference <coughs> service, of course, and still certain charities were getting in touch with them. Yeah, it's a weak service, and actually the advice that was given to the fundraisers by the information commissioner who runs that service was very, very, very confused and people didn't know quite what they should be doing. We want to be clearer. Why is it a weak service? Because it can't... <coughs> there's no power to enforce it to make sure people don't comment. Because that's a service the government recommends not just for charity intrusion but for all sorts of intrusion, isn't it? So yeah. it's not working. It's not working for everything. Yeah, the advice was quite confusing. It said that if, if you actually could... Uh, if you'd actually indicated that you wanted to receive calls from charities and you were still on the telephone preference service, you could receive mm -hmm. those calls. This is a once and for all thing. If people register with this preference service, uh, they won't receive any calls. Is it possible for charities to retrieve the damage is done? Because I worry about the poor souls who are really relying on the, the brilliant work that charities do in all sorts of areas and for animals too. You know, it, it feels like so many people that really need it are going to suffer because the money won't come in. Well, clearly, public trust and confidence is the most crucial lifeblood mm. of charities. They depend on it completely. The majority of charities, quite small, working locally, run by volunteers, uh, they weren't engaged in any They've of this. They've all been affected, though. It creates a negative of course, feeling about the whole Of course, thing. of course, of course. We need to restore public trust and confidence. This is what these things are designed to, uh, designed to achieve. I think people uh, really respect charities and they love what they're doing. It's important that charities communicate that effectively. I just wonder, I think what Kate's trying to get to is, of course, can you restore public trust and still raise the same amount yeah. of money? Because yeah. raising money is a difficult and sometimes, I mean, brutal. some might say brutal, mm. grubby business. Yeah, sure, fundraisers are very important. Uh, they do raise the money that actually goes to these great causes. But I think it's important that, that we balance uh, what charities need to raise in terms of money and the way in which they raise that money. That's crucial. One of your headline recommendations is that you will stop charities doing certain types of fundraising if they break rules. Can you just explain how that would happen? Yeah, what will happen is that the regulator will say, look, you've, you've done this badly. Uh, we think you should uh, think about this and do this better. Uh, and if you don't do that, we'll refer you to the Charity Commission. Uh, so they'll have the power, I think, to stop charities doing fundraising in a particular way for a period of time until they get it right. Some of the things that happened over the summer were pretty shocking to everybody. It's important that we stop that. All right, Stuart Etherington, thanks very much. Thank you.